One of the coolest looking things in this month's dev vlog is this right here, which is going to be one of the new Ashlands fortresses. Now, the way they phrase it is that fortress time will be a central part of the Ashlands. So to me, that sounds like it could be a new type of event. And maybe only during that certain type of event is there something we can do at the fortress that is necessary and we can't do at any other time. Whether or not that's true, this right here is, of course, just the front door of that fortress. It's going to be a much bigger castle that we're going to have to take down, one would assume. And that's going to be basically the sort of dungeon they have in the Ashlands. So looking at this, we see a few few cool things. I really like the purple looking braziers on top. Braziers? Braziers? I always get pulled up on this. Whichever it is, I like the look of it. But there is so much more here that we can see straight away. First of all, what looks to be a new type of build structure, this sort of new Ashland stone. This doesn't look like any other stone we've got currently in the game. Not only is it a different colour to anything we currently have, and especially with that sort of level of brickwork texture, but also it looks like it's a different shape too. Especially both the tall and shorter pillars, they look very different indeed, as does this sort of crest here around the door. And and that brings me very nicely onto the door itself, because if this is a drawbridge that we're able to build ourselves in game, how cool would that be? It got me thinking maybe fortress time is a time in which that drawbridge is lowered so we can actually get into that dungeon to attack and get all of the loot that's inside. Perhaps that will be how that event is going to work. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. On top of that, we have these new spikes here on the wall, obviously a way of defending yourself. And that'd be very useful to have against trolls and things like that. So again, it'd be really cool if this is something we're going to be able to build ourselves. I'm closing in on 100,000 subscribers, which is my absolute dream in life. So if you'd like to help me out, then please do consider subscribing. Attacking this fortress and dealing with any of the mobs that we're going to find in Ashlands is going to require, of course, some upgraded weapons. And they've had some interesting things to say about that. They identify that the new weapons don't look particularly magical or special when compared to some of the earlier concept art. And they say here they won't tell us how we get the extra power boosts for these weapons, but they have given us this image to show us one of those weapons in a more final form. Now, this to me is significant because in their words, we're going to be able to give weapons a bit of a power boost. And it sounds almost a little bit like enchanting weapons in some other games like Minecraft. I think the difference will be that in Valheim, when you power boost a weapon, it will have a time that it is power boosted for and then a cooldown period before we can reboost them. And it's anyone's guess how we're actually going to power boost weapons because they're not telling us at this stage. They're just letting us know it will be possible. Either way, I'm very excited for this to come to Valheim. I'm really looking forward to seeing whether we're going to be able to power boost all weapons or whether it will just be the new ones. My hope is certainly that you'll be able to do it with all weapons and also that this isn't something that they only make available very late game. However, I do actually suspect that is going to be the case, that either you're going to have to beat the Ashlands boss or take down a dungeon or just do like quite significant things within Ashlands before you get access to the power boost. If you'd like to buy some Valheim merch, including my new range of Viking Christmas merch, click the link in the description. Of course, we'll also need to be able to defend ourselves and for that we're going to need some better armor. So now what we have here is a final concept of some new Ashlands armor. Incidentally, this is the build of the month, which is a massive castle that was built by Agurkis One. Now, they have said that this is one of the new designs for Ashlands, so it does imply, of course, that there will be several, and this is just one of them that they're showcasing. And this particular armor, they're calling Embler, and this is from Norse mythology. Ask and Embler were the first two people created by the gods, Embler being the female of the two. If you'd like 50 Valheim tips you don't know, click the video on screen now, and subscribe to see more of these videos.